How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about all things relating to the MCU. Today, Cap is back. We have brand new Falcon and the Winter Soldier news. News involving the new Captain America and some leaked photos that we got for the series. Now, a lot of information has come out about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series lately, including US agent John Walker and his story arc. And a lot of info about the first few episodes have been leaked and they have filmed several Several episodes by now. So I'll break down everything that we know and go over this new propaganda for the new Captain America. If you're new, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the MCU and so you can enter my giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox One or PS4. I'm picking a winner at 550,000 subscribers. So the first thing we have is a brand new propaganda poster for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series of US agent John Walker that says Cap is back and we can see him fully dressed in a full Captain America uniform. And as we can see, he has his shield equipped in this poster. And as we can clearly see here, it is the exact same shield that Steve Rogers brought from his point in time to the present time to give to Sam. Now, at first we thought that the government wasn't going to let Sam be Captain America because of the Sokovia Accords. He did not side with the government and was an outlaw. However, there has been a recent leak of the first episode. And this leak says that Sam is actually given the option of keeping the shield and becoming Captain America. America. However, he has to take the super soldier serum. If he takes the serum, he can become Captain America and the government will pardon him from all of his crimes. Sam says that he needs time to think and while he talks to Bucky, Bucky encourages him not to do it because it's not worth outliving those that he loves. And obviously Bucky would know that and Captain America would know that as well. Sam goes on to decline the offer to take the serum and become Captain America and they give the serum to US agent John Walker. As John Walker undergoes the serum, it is revealed that the serum allows the recipient's mind to be controlled. At first, everybody thought that this new Captain America, US agent John Walker, wasn't going to be a good guy, but more of an evil Captain America. Well, as it turns out, we could be very wrong. It appears that he's actually a very good person who wants to be Captain America and do good. Instead, they end up controlling his mind through the serum. And this is what the government wants. They want to be able to control the new Captain America because they couldn't really control Steve Rogers before. He always did what he thought was right, despite what the government said. But we can see here that the government is really blowing up the new Captain America. We can even see the US Army sign right on the bottom of the poster. And of course, the big cap is back is really promoting the new Captain America, much like they did during Steve Rogers' time. He was kind of the poster boy. He was used to get the morale of the people up during a time of war. But now we're in a world that is post snap, post Thanos, and the world kind of needs to be reinvigorated, especially since the old Captain America is gone. So they're really trying to get the people going about this new Captain America. So let me know what you think about this poster and let me know what you think about the possibility of US agent John Walker being controlled by the super soldier serum that he has given. Leave all your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.